that win, but we had a mega first lap, but held up by Sabo, and that's what we saw, we were watching that as well. And now that is the end of qualifying. There are your results. That's how they'll be lining up in race number one, six laps of Suzuka. Here we are then in the GT4 NZ Finals. We're in race number one at Suzuka. Six laps coming up, and it is Psydog who's going to be leading us away from pole position. He's got Sabo lined up next to him. Pure Axel and W True on row number two. And then Ethan's and Nismanath lurking in the background. We're about to get racing here for race number one. And they are off. It looks like Sido got a good jump here. Can we get an onboard view behind? This is from W True's position. Nismanath has actually got a great jump in that uh, Nissan. Looks to the inside, gets past W True. Purex is still holding on to three, so this front three hold on. W True ducking back to the inside. Is he going to get back past Nismanath? Nismanath is going to have the inside for the left hander. The front three line is stern, but the battle is on here in fourth position. And Ethan's wants a part of it as well. Still side by side they go, this is absolutely cracking racing at the start of the lap and it's Nismanath who emerges ahead of W True. Great start there from that man and there's plenty of battling going on behind them as well. It's Norm here tries to go around the outside of Ethan's. Can he do it around the outside? They're, like, they're going to go three wide! It's in exile wants to get involved as well. No, he backs out of it in the end and I think Ethan's has just about managed to hang on but they're going to oh, keep it very close off the road. Norm still thinking about the inside. Ethan's hangs on in the end while well, some cracking driving there. Now W True trying to make another move to get past in exile. He's going to have to go around the outside of the hairpin. Is, oh, sorry, of Nismanath, his Hoon Court teammate, of course, with in exile. Goes around the outside, but Nismanath hangs on to the inside there on that occasion. There we go. It's still Sidog ahead of Saibo, ahead of Pure Axel. Nismanath here, here having to defend hard against W True, who's going to try and go around the outside because, of course, that's going to line him up for the inside of the left hander. Who's going to break the latest? W True down the inside. These guys have been battling the entire lap and they're keeping it clean. W True down the inside. Can he do it the whole way around? He does manage to get ahead. What a move from W True. Oh my goodness, great racing for bro both drivers to stay on the road there. So easy to run each other wide. But the whole lap, it was back and forth. Meanwhile, at the front of the race, the pressure is all still on here for Sidog. Coming down into the big chicane, big braking zone. They've managed to stay out of it. I thought Sabo might have been ha thinking about having a look just there. Pulls out of it in the end. And it just tucks back into the slipstream, of course. Slipstream so powerful, so crucial. It's just... That little bit extra that you need coming down the straights, it gives the car behind that advantage and on that long straight coming into that uh, sh final chicane can be crucial. Here we go now into turn number one, of course a tricky corner here. And we on board here with Pure Exo as these guys, look at how close it still is after one lap done. Six laps of course here at Suzuka, so there's still plenty of time. It is a sprint race. So there's no uh, pit stops to worry about or anything like that. Pure Axel thinking about the inside. That's not the place to do it. Not quite up far enough on that occasion. No uh, pit stops to worry about, but there is still one times tire wear and one times fuel consumption. So the cars do behave just a little bit differently at the end of the race. Something to be aware of. At the moment, though, Sidog has got his car under control, doing exactly what he needs to do, but unable to pull away from these two. Hunting behind him, trying to get through if they can. Putting the pressure on, any mistake is going to be pounced on, you know it. Now, oh, further back, this battle back is absolutely raging here from fourth downwards. This man still there hunting down at W True with Ethan's in the back. Oh, he decides to dive down at the airpin. Late move there from this man late on the break, says W True manages to hang on around the outside and. That was quite a move. They would have given W True a scare for sure. And Ethan's is right in behind these two as well. He's looking for his opportunity. He's licking his lips when he sees something like that. And it looks like the front two might get tangled up. Doesn't happen on that occasion. And of course, Norm and Boonus still there as well. Very close between these guys. Boonus picked up a bit of a penalty in the background. Oh, and now Norm is going to get alongside Ethan's. Norm now looking to make the move as he gets up the inside. 130R is going to be a scary spot. Are they going to try and do it side by side or is Ethan's going to give up the position here? They might be looking to go side by side here through 130R. Ethan's gets on the brakes. He backs out of it. And Norm up into sixth position. These Mustangs 
going very well here. As Bunas now, is he going to think about it on the brakes? Down into the chicane. No, he saw him sort of look to the inside a little bit. But gets out of it in the end. And Ethan's hangs on for the time being. But back and forth between this group. Meanwhile, at the front of the field, it's still Linus Stern. There's a little bit of a gap here for Psydog. Ahead of Sabo and Purex. All sorts of pressure being applied to Sabo. As these guys continue to sit in very similar places. Still four laps to go to resolve this one. But... Can anyone make the big move? Try and throw it up the inside. Well, where is the best spot? Is it, that's what you're thinking about if you're one of these drivers. Where is the overtaking spot? Where can you line up to try and get down the inside or maybe unsettle the car in front of you, make them try and have to defend? And of course, even if you're side dog in front, you're thinking about where do you have to defend? Where are you going to have to put the position the car to make sure the drivers behind you can't get an overtake in? But it's just close racing at the time being. Still, no, there's still enough time to just settle in. Try and force the driver in front of you into a mistake. Meanwhile, in the background, W. True just slightly managing to get pull away now to hold on to fourth position. He's, this group has really dropped off of those front three. The front three pulling away, doing a great job and showing just how fast they are. As Norm goes up the inside here of Nismanath, doesn't manage to pull it off in the end. Seems didn't have, quite have the exit with that title line. There's been that hanging on and it's that sort of battling. It costs time and that's you can see them dropping off the back of W True here. W True will be thankful. He's pulling away in that fourth position. He'll be able to get his head down, eyes forward to try and see if he can catch up to those front three drivers. We're still just absolutely so close. This one now under all sorts of pressure. He's the one, like I was just talking about with Sidon, having to think about positioning the car defensively. As Norm thinks about the inside, he's got a good run down the straight. And you can just see how much more speed he's got there. Got a big overlap as they head into 130R. Can they get through here tightly? It's going to, it's always tough when it's side by side like that. Nismanath runs off the road, comes back on. Ethan's wants a part of this as well. He sees the carnage in front of him. He smells an opportunity. Can he try and get up there? No, he can't. Somehow, Nismanath hangs onto the position, going off the road and clings onto it. Ethan's unable to pounce as it was too wide in front of him. They stay in those positions as they head down back into turn number one once again now Norm looking down the inside into turn number one and this is another scary spot to be going side by side is there contact there is Nismanath is off the road he, oh he's a little bit sideways as he rejoins and Norm is off the road as well we might have to get a look at the replay of that one because that was a little bit untidy Nismanath is back he is racing and it's Ethan's who has managed to capitalize on that action now he's made his way up into fifth Nismanath actually getting overtaken by Bunus as well so Nismanath and Norm both losing out big time on that occasion can we look back at it or have I missed the opportunity looks like I might have missed the opportunity sorry about that lads we'll try and catch it next time but big moment there down into turn number one that is allow Ethan's to get in front meanwhile the front three are as close as ever you cannot separate these three drivers none of them making a single mistake so far we're over halfway into this race now there's still just millimeters between them. It could still be just one corner that separates these drivers when it comes to the last lap. Pure Axel now almost rubbing onto the bumper here of Sabo as he has the speed to try and get past, but there's no opening for him to put his car through. Coming now onto the straight. Is this a chance to get the run down? Try and get a good exit, get some speed in that slipstream. Think about an opportunity. Of course, we've seen that 130R it can be a scary place to try and do it. So you've got to be sensible. But definitely down into that chicane can be an opportunity. Here we go. Is anyone going to think about a move this time around? A little tap of the brakes there. You can see the brake lights come on. They try and line it up. Side dog is a little bit wide there as he gets a couple of tires out on the AstroTurf. Keeps it under control. Just positioning his car a little bit defensively. Making sure there's no opening down the inside. And hangs on to first position. Continues to dominate out in front. Well, dominate's not quite the right word because he's, he's doing well out in front. But he's... He's not pulling away by any means, and he's not out of the woods yet. Two laps to go as they cross the line once again. Pure Axel actually has the fastest lap of the race, but I'm sure between these three drivers, they're almost identical lap times because you can see they're still just so close together, and they've continued to be close together throughout the race. Oh, unfortunately, we have lost a driver there. We did manage to see Airborne's uh, livery on stream, so he'll be happy at least about that, but hopefully get it sorted out and get back into race number two. You never like to see that 
in these sort of events, but all eyes on the front of the battle, front battle right now. Sabo here, the Australian driver, coming in. As I said, only done one, we mentioned it at the start, only done one round previously in Super Formula NZ. Earned his automatic qualification spot in that one round, picking up a race win for his efforts. And now he's back in the finals and proving that he deserves to be here. Running in second at the moment behind our uh, FIA world finalist Psydog out in front. And you can see these drivers very competitive. Psydog not pulling away by any means. And W True in the background. He lost out a bit of time in that battling early on, but he hasn't dropped too much time since. Currently running just over six seconds behind the guys in front, but of course he doesn't have any slipstream to work with. He's just out on his own for the time being. Nismanath back up to fifth actually here. So Nismanath has gotten back past Ethan's in his run, and he's picked up a penalty along the way. And then Norm in the background with a penalty as well. So Ethan's just in a little bit of a sandwich here. And this battle continues to rage between these drivers, trying to get into the top five, get every position they can, of course. Because there are points. There are three races here tonight for the finals format. Points awarded for each race. The same amount of points, actually, for each race. So every position does count, and that's why they're pushing so hard. As we see, Pure Axel's gotten past Sabo. So are we going to try and catch a replay of that? It looked like Sabo might have been off the road there. So the first change for position. Hang on. I have... My replays are not working. I am going to actually just... Try and reset here. Apologies for this. Try and reset and get this figured out. The Psydog now leads ahead of Pure Axel, ahead of Savo, and they're a little bit more spread out. Is this the opening Psydog needs? I'm sure he's going to be pushing now as we're on the final lap of the race. He just wants to try and break that slipstream, get away nicely, as Savo has really dropped off, so he must have made another mistake here. But unfortunately, I seem to be Gran Turismo's replay system seems to be failing me, so we'll try and get that figured out for race number two, but for the time being, we have just seen that Pure Axel got ahead of Sabo, and then perhaps Sabo just trying to make up time in the first sector of the lap has made another mistake, and now dropped off and got really going to have an opportunity to come back from that. Meanwhile, it is Psydog who's done the goods. He is ahead of Pure Axel. Surely he's done everything he needs to do. A couple more sectors to go, but he's comfortably out in front. He's actually picked up the fastest lap along the way as well. Doing a great job. W True there still lurking in fourth position. He's not too far behind Saibo now, but it is the last lap of the race. And it is still a battle pack here. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Look at that as we see Boonas down the inside in exile trying to see, find his way through. But currently it is Nismanath who is holding on to fifth position, but he does have that penalty. So this could be great news for Ethan's. So he's going to pick up that position. And then in behind them, it is Norm who has another penalty as well. So if they don't burn this penalty before the end of the lap, it will be added to their race time. That is going to cost spots. So you can see how close this group is together. Coming out into the final sector, down the straight, as Saito comes into the final chicane. For one last time, nice and tidy through there. Pure X was caught out to him, but it's not going to be enough as they now come through the final corner. It is a race win for Psydog here in the finals. Pure Axel in second and Sabo in third. Huge congratulations to Psydog. He's got a big reputation and it's for a good reason. Picks up the win in that great looking boost mobile Mustang. What a drive there from that man. Had a lot of pressure the entire time but didn't make it a single mistake. Held on for the win. Dub True ended up there in fourth position. Ethan's crosses the line. He picks up fifth due to those penalties. In Exile actually gets his way up to sixth on the final lap. Great job there for the Hooncorp driver. Norm finishes in seventh. Bonus in eighth. Nismanath drops down to ninth due to his penalties. It was great driving in that race, but just picking up penalties along the way. And it is Hard Stopper and Aspect Anakin rounding out the field after, unfortunately, we had that disconnect from Airborne. Full credit has to go to those top three in that race. They pulled away from the pack early on. They were inseparable until just the last couple of laps, but it was Sidon who did the best job. He led from the start to the finish. Pole position and fastest lap along the way. 
huge congratulations to that man and what an absolute thrilling race we saw we were hoping for some action and it did not disappoint with how close is the battle between the top three this championship is going to go down to the wire i can feel it and of course the next race is the reverse grid so it could all change yet again then there's going to, of course, then be the final feature race. It's so much excitement here in the finals of GT4NZ. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Make sure you stay tuned. We're just going to take a quick break. I'm going to try and get all the settings sorted out. We're going to get, uh, hopefully, all the keep a running total of the points as well. So we can get that update at the end of the night. So stay tuned. We're going to have a quick break. And we're